This morning, a TikTok video of Sea Mist Resort, downtown Myrtle Beach, is getting a lot more attention than its original poster ever imagined. And News 13 Stella Maresca spoke with Kelly Bruce about her vacation in Myrtle Beach that didn't quite go as planned. Taylor? Good morning, Patsy and Aaron. Bruce was excited to take her lifelong friends on a girl's trip. She spent $700 on a two night stay at a resort she called a nightmare. No one else should come back until this building is demolished and, and built up again. The hotel from hell is what Bruce calls the accommodations she made in downtown Myrtle Beach. We were devastated. It was mold from the ceiling to the floor, from the bed, the carpet. It was just everywhere. The chairs. We, we were just in disbelief. That's when she started to record. The world needs to see that. That's disgusting. No one, I don't care what you paid. If you paid a dollar a ten dollars. She posted it on TikTok and it now has over six million views. Seamist Resort is one of those viewers. They wanted it removed and promised Bruce a refund and a free stay at the resort. They saw the TikTok, the corporate saw the TikTok, and they wanted me to remove it. And they would give me a three-day stay at their resort. What? <laughs> I don't want to come back ever. She did not remove it, and Bruce says the refund offer was taken away. She told me that I will not be getting a refund, and all of the things, all of the things that they were going to provide in that offer, if I remove the TikTok, would be rescinded, and I would not be receiving it. Seamist Resort made a statement on Facebook that said in part, quote, the unit was on maintenance block to be treated for mold, which is a regular issue at every resort in a humid climate. The guest was offered compensation that she declined, end quote. Seamist Resort has since deleted their statement on Facebook. All Bruce wanted from her TikTok was for the public to be aware. The story, it needs to get out. People need to realize that this company does not care about the health of the people that it provides services for. I have reached out to Seamist several times, and at the time of this report, they have not commented. Reporting for News 13, I'm Taylor Maruska.